Hello everybody and welcome back to another Blank and Tree of Parasite Maxim episode 19 as per usual that's the outro if you wish to skip that. So yeah, previously we left off with this stair off and that's it's a pretty good cliffhanger I must say. Well, cliffhanger and cliffhanger. It's pretty obvious that he can sense parasites and while staring at Shinichi probably could be slightly problematic for our hero. So let's see how this situation will pan out. Most, like, because the parasite is in his arm, he might actually not be able to sense anything wrong with Shin, or he might sense something wrong with Shinichi, but maybe he might not be able to completely tell. We'll just have to wait and see. Or we should just start and see. Let's go. Oh, if Mick is asleep, that could make things quite a bit more difficult to discern Shinichi from a real human. Maybe? I don't know, we'll see. So, yeah. Uh, that's... Well, yeah, certainly he is. Oh god, that's twisted. Yeah, he's an insane motherfucker. That's pretty. That's sick. Yeah, it, it is pretty apparent that this crazy mother. This crazy murderer is just more animalistic than normal humans, and that might give him an enhanced, enhanced sensibility towards this. It certainly... I, I mean, he hasn't yet described how he senses them, but apparently he can really clearly tell them apart, so... I wonder how similar that is to the other woman whose name I just forgot. <laughs> so that's how he was caught by a silly mistake. That's a pretty reasonable way for him to get being found out. Okay, so it's good that he didn't at the very least sense that. So his ability to discern uh, parasites is clearly something quite different. It's his animal instinct, maybe? I don't know, just, that could be the best explanation for it. I don't know. Well, that is quite the proposition, but it's pretty obvious that he is not the... Uh, I mean, maybe a distinct, maybe a distant relative, but it's unlikely. So, hmm. taking care of baby though is something that a like a guy in still still in school should perhaps not be doing. And it's a good thing that that was a joke, pretty mean joke to be playing on him. But whatever. <laughs> oh, Miki has gained the ability to discern his mental state. That's understandable considering how long they have been together, but that is quite a noticeable change in there. Oh, come on, Shinichi, you're a killer as well. You have killed a lot of parasites. But you are still a killer, I think. Even though it's more extermination and it's killing monsters, but still. 
He has already killed quite a few people. She wasn't any. She truly was an enigma until her very last moments, now wasn't she? Really, really interesting how. It's really interesting how different she was from every other parasite. That's. I wonder if actually that parasite that's composed of five different parasites, if that will be the final enemy for them to take care of, but we'll just see about that. I wonder how they're actually going to exterminate the parasites, because that's uncertain. If they have a method of finding them out, will they actually be using that murder? It's all quite interesting, but at the very least they are... God damn it, camera, come in the focus. At the very least they are concerned and they are taking action. Sensing system? I wonder what they have developed. That could be some kind of mechanic, mechanical contraption, but it's more likely another person. How confident can he be? It makes me really question how actually adept they are, because considering how well the parasites are hidden, it's gonna be really hard to catch them. I wonder why they are sitting facing away from one another. That's... I mean, it is certain to just... Certainly just a cinematography trick here, but... Um, it just makes the room look so disheveled. It's... Odd. That's... That's so nice. <laughs> That's really friendly. Um, I, I, I had a thought mulling in my head about the the parasites could just you know stop feasting on humans that much, and that would probably make the threat of them seem to disappear. I think maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my, it'll be interesting to see if he will actually give it his all, because he would probably break some records with that. Yeah, his high school life has been pretty messed up. That that much is for certain. Holy hell. He has been stabbed through the heart. He has been impaled. He has killed a lot of parasites. He has seen monsters and a massacre. It's... Yeah. High school life. Jeez. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my fucking god. This <laughs> was like, yeah, just easy going. Oh my, non the Sumiko de Kosoko Kigatenda. Otoko no Kseni, Hazukashi Kanda, you. I mean, hmm. he looks so sad. It's also weird. He, it, 
he has uh, regained his humanity, but that has also given him a lot of sorrow back. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's actually a good point that he wasn't blocking that strike, because previously he probably could have sensed that and just blocked it. What? What? What's with that expression, though? There's... Mm. There's an intangible sense of just sorrow that is just portrayed in that expression so damn well. It's really all quite weird. It's... Odd. It's really odd. Just... I mean, at the very least, the artists are doing their job really well, just portraying it so damn well, but... Just... I don't know, something is... Maybe I'm feeling empathy. Holy shit, could that be? Um... Just out of context, that would seem really weird, but in context, it all is pretty odd. <laughs> it, it hmm. don't know. That's a freaking good point. Izumi isn't the only one who is who has experienced quite a lot, but all of them have experienced. Wow, that's quite something. All of them have experienced the massacre. Well have been witnesses to a massacre. Holy hell! That's gonna need... They're gonna need some psychological help after that. Jeez. Witnessing the murder of just... Or not even witnessing, but knowing... That is just... Well, that's... Yeah, that's pretty... They have all been quite fucked up now, haven't they? Yeah. That's a good expression of fear and terror in her eyes. Have I mentioned how freaking fantastic the art in this series? It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Especially these expressions. The, the, the expressions are just drawn so freaking well. It's just... Makes you appreciate good animation, I must say, even if they are horrified expressions of fear and pain. Still, it's man, just it's it, it it's pretty really top-notch animation, I must say. Hmm. Considering the how parasites move, using fire might be really effective against them, considering that they they might not have full control or, over all of their all of their cells, but instead they might, you know, be huh, they might some of their cells might react negatively towards it and try to flee away from it, so that might cause panic at the very least amongst them. And considering how animalistic and how natural their behavior should be, they should be averse to fire at the very least. I think. Maybe? Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Oh! Well, look at that! That's just... That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh. 
Are they actually... Are they planning actually like for that they are going to eventually kill Goto? That would be... That's an interesting, but where would they procure a flamethrower? I mean... Actually, now that I think about it, from housemate appliances, it's actually quite easy to make a flamethrower. Flamethrower, just, you know, a little flame sprayer, but still. Hmm. <laughs> because that wasn't suspicious at all. <laughs> just. I mean, just a lot of but that, that, that looks so suspicious. Could you be any more suspicious? That's... That looks... Look, look, look at those freaking... The bosses. That looks so suspicious. I mean, it's a hotel, so it's... Almost understandable, but blocking the pathway makes it look so suspicious. <laughs> Could it? Ah, <laughs> Riot Squad. I, I doubt that there's going to be much that I'm gonna be able to say during this operation, but it's going to be really fascinating to see how this will go. Neutralize the foxes? Okay. They are framing it as an anti-terrorist move. Move. That's interesting. They are, at the very least, like freaking heavily armed against. Like, it, how easily would? The public buy that because, like, I mean, I mean, I don't know how heavy the police reinforcement or police activity is like in Japan. How heavily they would react to one armed gunman, but that is rather suspicious, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, they, they have that. That's a freaking good, eh? good, good as notification. That they have recruited a um, serial murderer and a miner. That's that is, seems a little desperate, don't you think? He can act at the very least rather sus like rather inconspicuously. Inconspicuously? I don't know. He's at the very least uh, acting really well, so. Well, that's reasonable considering that he was elected the mayor, so that would require that he has become pretty good at acting and. Even though I. Still, there's quite a lot of off on off when he's in his facial expressions. Will they be able to? It actually works. Well, color me surprised. That's. Wow, okay. Just... What an ending point, god damn it. Yeah, yeah. It's a good episode. It's a damn good episode, I must say. But... I'm actually kind of surprised that 
that murderer wasn't able to distinguish Shinichi, but was able to tell that something is certainly wrong with him. Um, but being so vague about it just makes no sense. Um, but man, ending this episode with that operation of just... And having that scanner actually work, it's... Pretty, I mean, considering that they had multiple carcasses to do tests upon, it does make sense, but um, it makes sense that they would uh, find out a way to actually distinguish them from normal humans. And looking at how that works, it, or looking at how that scanner works, it actually kind of makes sense, considering that it's, it's basically an x-ray scanner, even though it's clearly a little quite a bit different but it's quite the ending point to have it actually work I must say I, I, I it's I wonder how that's gonna pan out because it certainly is quite uh, interesting I might actually just record another one right after this one because that is a really good ending point really freaking good ending point <sighs> They've had a, now twice like these kinds of, or they have often had these kind of ending points which are cliffhangers, but they are not unbearable cliffhangers. It's gonna be interesting to see if they actually find out Goto and actually Goto, damn camera, come into focus. Um, if I don't th is Goto even there? I don't think Goto is in there in that group, but it's. Nah, yeah, it's unlikely. That would be far too easy. It's gonna be interesting to see whether their exp extermination actually works. It's entirely possible that it will not work and that the parasites will start murdering them. At the very least, they're gonna offer quite a lot of resistance. Hmm. And I doubt that the parasites are actually buying into that being just a police oper operation because well, obviously they know that noticed how <laughs> heavily armed. Holy hell, that's quite the police operation to say the least. To have so many sol just yeah, they are soldiers. They are not police. That's rough, and the uh, parasites know that. So it's unlikely that they will go down easily. It's gonna be interesting to see in the next episode how exactly this operation will pan out. Though I suspect bad things will happen, so... I've been just stretching out these episodes one after another, haven't I? Just adding freaking 10 minutes to a 20 minute long episode, that's quite something. But there's so much to say because it's all so intriguing. Because it's... Honestly, I have really enjoyed this series so freaking much, not only because it has so many interesting implications and interesting studies of human psychology, but it is it has such a wonderful expressive art as well. It's honestly quite a marvel to look at because it's just done so freaking well and they uh, artists are artists are uh, artists are at the very least working really well to portray subtleties of the human nature quite well. Even if sometimes they, shall we say, may go or go a little bit overboard. Start just with that Murano freakout scene. That was, I love that. I really like that. But it also is quite the freakout scene. It it is rather expressive, but it is a little over the top. But it's completely understandable considering the hell that the children. Have. No. Is it okay to call them children? I would still call them children. Uh, they might be barely f of age in my country at the very least. Maybe. <laughs> Just... There's much to say about this series. There's so much. Could this be a four long minute episode video? <laughs> Could easily be. I mean, if I stretch out this outro quite a bit more, maybe. But man, yeah, I just, I'm just loving the series quite a bit. <sighs> Thank, that's all. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope till in the future have a great day and stay awesome. Gammu, out. Thank you very much for watching.